Hello friends. In this video, uh, I will explain gray hole attack in AODB routing protocol. AODB routing protocol is a reactive routing protocol. It means at the time of uh, data sending, it will search path for destination. So here we are taking uh, these four nodes, and node D is the malicious node showing gray hole. Uh, launching gray hole attack so here uh, let's have a quick review of uh, AODB routing protocol every node maintains two counter one for sequence number so the sequence number will work as a timestamp and second one is the broadcast ID this is the packet ID route request packet ID so a source will broadcast route request packets so these are the attribute of route request packet source address source sequence number broadcast id destination address destination sequence number and hope count when destination receive route request packet destination reply to source with route reply packet so these are the content of route reply packet and these are the how intermediate node process these packets so uh, this is our example node a wants to send data to a so a is not having any idea about e so a will send route request packet to its neighbors so these are the content of route request packet source address and here we are taking so sequence number one so the sequence number can be anything because node a keep on increasing this value third one is this is the broadcast id and this id is increased with every route request packet in the next next packet this will be 2 destination address destination sequence number this m this <coughs> sorry this field left empty because initially a is not having any information about e in the last one this is the hope count so this is the hope count from originator and the node handling request so initially originator and current node is both a so that's why this is zero so a will broadcast this request packet to its neighbor in our example there is only one neighbor c in case if there are multiple neighbors so every neighbor receive these request after receiving this packet intermediate node they will create an entry in the routing table they, were, they would know that this packet is coming from source a and this packet came on this link so in order to send any packet to a forward that packet in this direction so they set up a reverse path now c also not having any information about node e so C also broadcast this packet and before broadcasting C will increase this value by 1. So this is the hope count between the originator and the current node handling this packet. C sent this packet to node D. At this point of time node D will not show any malicious behavior. It will act as a normal node. So D will set up a reverse path, create an entry and increase the hope count value and forward it to the its neighbors or broadcast this request to the neighbors. On receiving this packet node E would know that node A trying to search a path for me. So now E will prepare a route reply packet. And this packet having source address, destination address, destination sequence number, and this is the hope count between this node and the node handling the request. So E will send this packet to its neighbors. D act as a normal node at this time also. D will send this packet according to its routing table. So it will forward this packet to C and C also having a reverse path to A so C will send this packet to node A on receiving this packet node A would know destination E is far by 3 hope count and this packet is received from C so from C this is 2 hope count so from A it will be 3 
and in order to send any packet to E, forward that packet to C. So A will set up a routing entry for destination E. And this is the destination sequence number. This sequence number actually provide information how latest this information is. So after setting a routing entry in the table, node A sends its data packet. So here we are considering only we are saying this is a data packet and to destination E this data packet has to be sent. So according to its routing table A send this packet to node C. Node C will check that for destination E forward packet to D. So this is the time where node D will show its malicious behavior. D will drop this packet. D will not forward this packet, D will drop this packet. So this node actually not showing any malicious behavior until data packet has been sent. At the time of route request packet it will act as a normal node. At the time of uh, route reply this uh, works as a normal node. But at the time of data packet sending it will act as a malicious node and it will drop these packets. So gray hole attack is hard to detect because it won't show its behavior until data is being sent. So this is gray hole attack. So on receiving data packet is simply discard it. It will drop this. So this is gray hole attack in AODB. Thank you for watching.